Hi guys, right, so well, welcome to another video. Uh, this one is going to be the first attachment of my new system that was fitted a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, I did a tape attachment around the perimeter and then glue at the front, but this time I'm just going to go with uh, what I've been doing lately uh, with my old system is going for a uh, continuous tape attachment, no glue at all. So I'm going to show you how to quite simply tape up the hair system. Um, very much easier if you've got something like um, a mannequin head or something curvy that you can kind of balance the the system over like that. That way when you're putting your tape on the, the system you, it's, it's not kind of against a table you know getting creased and and all this sort of stuff. So if you just get the better contour. So I use uh, Walker's lace support tape. Um, so we start off by just cutting kind of one and a half inch strips like this. And what I do is I just take the little corners off, first of all, and I'll start around the back and sides first. So just pop it just right on the lace. Sticks better as well. Obviously make sure the lace is really, really dry once you've washed it, because that will help it the tape adhere better. Now this is the bit that people struggle with. Um, so what I do is I fold back just the inner corner and with my nail, just scrape the tape off that kind of pulled back bit, bit there. And then I just peel it back like this, fold it, exposing sticky tape. Then I get the next uh, piece. Do the same thing again, just take the uh, triangular bits off and then overlap the bit that we've just pulled back and then quite simply then we take our next piece so again I'll do an over exaggerated um, thing of what I do with the tape so you're literally folding back that inner one scraping down the tape whilst holding it with your thumb that reveals the sticky tapes so then just see so that was a bit exaggerated that one but that honestly is the bit that people struggle with the most. So I'll continue now going around. We're now at the back of the system. I mean, you cut your, ta your tape accordingly to the, the shape and length that you need it. So what do I use to attach it with? Well, there's this one here called uh, Walker's Positioning Spray. And what you do is pretty simple. You just take all the backing tape off, spray this all over the tape. It renders it not sticky for about 10 seconds or so. That just gives you enough time to just Put it on your head, you've got a bit of time to move it around uh, and then just press down and stick it. Now so quickly run and get this on. There we go. And then once it's on in place, you just put a hand at the back on the crown, the whole hand, hand at the front and just press down nice and flat. And this is the best way when you're doing the attachment yourself to avoid that kind of crinkly rippled front. But if you've got a really good hair system, uh, that is the perfect contour for your head, then you shouldn't also really get that kind of rippling uh, effect at the front anyway. It should just be nice and flush if it's been properly properly made. And as a wearer, you can just sort of feel that the position spray is now evaporated and it's now kind of stuck. So to style it, uh, a little bit of Tresemme conditioner. Um, you don't have to put this in and on every, every single day. This is just really, you use most of it just after a fresh re because after you've washed the hair, you know, you need to kind of uh, restructure and restyle from scratch really. So um, I only really use it maybe for the week after I've just done a re on myself. And then you can switch to something like a, a leave-in spray conditioner, more like a kind of liquid spray conditioner. Because if you keep putting this in every day, um, it can feel a bit clogged after a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks. Yeah, so that's all nicely styled now. Um, just give it a quick uh, spin around to see the blend. Yeah, still liking the highlights just at the front. So let's have a quick zoom in on the hairline.
So Rubik's Cube Challenge. I thought I could do it. So I thought it might be a better idea to literally take the whole thing apart and cheat. Right, so putting it back together is more of a challenge than actually, I think, doing it from scratch. What? This is like the Krypton Factor. I mean, how are they supposed to join together? Hello? Ta-da! Literally nailed it. There you go. Only took me 20 minutes. Absolutely perfect.